With Valentine's Day right around the corner, love is in the air. And the day is also National Organ Donor Day. One local man who received the gift of life is excited to celebrate both this year. His story is only on KCTV5. Kevin Calhoun couldn't change his family history. I was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy um, when I was 28, and it was familial, is what they, my father has it. For years, he got by with medication and a healthy lifestyle, but he still felt terrible. I couldn't do any physical activities. I couldn't even exercise. I would try to walk as much as I could, and um, a lot of sleepiness and um, just kind of a, a boring state of life. And dating was the last thing from his mind. I had given up on the fact that I would anybody, you know, and that I would just, I was like, this is going to be me the rest of my life. And I haven't, didn't even attempt dating. I was like, who would want to be with somebody who's so ill? Kevin was told that he would need a heart transplant. And in May of 2015, he got one at St. Luke's Hospital. He immediately felt better. Just sitting there, I felt like I could just jump out of bed and just run. Just sitting there and waking up coming out of that, I felt the blood flowing through my body. And just, I, I hadn't felt that in years. After making a full recovery, in 2017, Kevin attended the World Transplant Games in Spain. A woman named Casey Carey, who lives in Orlando, Florida, also attended to support a friend. Soon, the guy who never thought about dating was thinking about a long-distance relationship. We were just left it as like, well, like you want to, we'll just talk and visit over time. But every day since we got back, we've just talked. I knew within a month she was she was the one. Around Christmas, Kevin took Casey around town and eventually brought her to the chapel at St. Luke's. I kind of got out right here and knelt down, and that's I proposed to her. This is where I got my heart and where I got my second chance in life, and this is where I wanted to give her my heart and propose to her. Casey will move to Kansas City in March, and the wedding will be in Florida in June. Without your heart transplant, I mean, this never would have happened. No, nope, not at all. Kevin says he's never been happier, and every day he thinks about his donor. Every day I wake up, you know, I pray and I think, I thank him and I thank God that he came into my life. And Kevin is an ambassador for the Midwest Transplant Network. He tells me he's written to his donor's family and they've written back. And the next step will be to meet one.